Hey Taurus, I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a general reading for August the 16th through the 18th, so this is a weekend reading. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below, Taurus. Um, I do not have personals open at this time. You are more than welcome to join me over on Instagram or Patreon if you'd like. We're going to go ahead and start here for you, see what we got for the weekend energies, Taurus. What do we have here for Taurus, please? We have the Seven of Pentacles showing up. Okay. So I feel like there's something that you're analyzing over the weekend. I think there's something that you're, some of you possibly could be overthinking a situation, but I really feel as if um, you're making up for time where you weren't thinking about it enough. It's that kind of energy here where you're, where you're realizing you've missed something. So it's like you're looking over everything all at once. It's that kind of vibe here, Taurus. It's like something just like hits you. It just clicks all of a sudden type of energy. Taurus, seven of swords is showing up right here. Some of you could be a life path seven. You got two sevens here. Uh, seven of swords usually shows up for like trickery, theft, decept uh, deception. Uh, somebody here might be an Aquarius sun, moon, or rising. Yes, you don't have to be a Taurus sun uh, to be watching this. So you could be like an Aquarius sun with a Taurus moon or rising, for example, right? Anyhow, seven of swords, I feel like this is what you're evaluating, some sort of deception. You could kind of be... Um, looking back on something and seeing how things didn't make sense as well. But Seven of Swords, it doesn't always have to be that somebody like tricked you. It could also uh, show up sometimes whenever you've allowed a situation to play out a certain way. Like you have given a lot more than you are um, being given in a situation. So it's unequal give and take sometimes as well. And you could be seeing that, that you just show up more for a person or that um, you're willing to compromise more or that you always apologize. It could be something like that that you're recognizing here, Taurus. Wow, you've got the Seven of Cups here. Somebody could have uh, Venus and Scorpio, but yeah, you have 777. Seven, seven. That could be um, like something that's significant to you like if you're seeing sevens repeating seven is like truth uh, truth seeking energy I can't even talk it's like truth seeking energy and I think that over the weekend there is like a truth that's being revealed here with the seven of Pentacles seven of swords I feel like you are evaluating things you're looking into things here um, in regards to some sort of deception and I will say you know seven of cups energy like you're realizing how you were confused or manipulated in a situation but also look at all these cups this does represent like new doors opening so I do feel that this week and is bringing a truth that may not be so pleasant, but I also feel that it allows you uh, to shift the focus on yourself. Like it allows for new doors to open. I feel like a weight is lifted, even though not much has changed aside from leaving something like a deceptive, toxic energy behind. Um, you don't feel drained. You don't feel sucked dry anymore, Taurus. So I feel like um, that already makes a huge, significant difference in your energy. So yeah, uh, signs present here are Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Aries on the bottom, but I really feel like this is you taking, um, you know, power back over your life, over your energy. So that's what I'm seeing, Taurus. I hope this was helpful or fun or whatever you needed it to be. Details are below for anybody who's interested in joining me on Instagram or Patreon. If this is where we part, Taurus, thank you for being here. I greatly appreciate you, and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.